Hey there! In the following video we're still dealing with equivalent fractions and our aim is to find a fraction in its simplest form. The last video we actually talked about equivalent fractions and we said they are different but same same. By that I meant here are two equivalent fractions, they look like they're different but actually they're the same thing. And in the previous video we took the, a simplest fraction and we generated the equivalent fractions like 2 over 4, 3 over 6, etc. And in this video, we're going to go backwards and taking a fraction, an equivalent fraction, we're going to go back to its simplest form by a method of simplifying. In this video, I'm going to use prime factor decomposition, uh, a previous video we've done to help us. So let's have a go. Here's the first example. Please copy this. Simplify the following fraction, 8 over 12. And we are given a hint, we are told that 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, and 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. So we're going to use this. So 8 over 12. Now we're going to replace 8 by its prime uh, numbers multiplied together, its prime decomposition. 8 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 from here. And... 12 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 from here. Now you'll notice that this fraction has a factor of 2 on the top and bottom. So we can divide the top and bottom by 2. Uh, if we divide uh, the top by 2, we'll get a 1 here in its place, and we'll get a 1 here in its place. But 1 multiplying on the top and bottom of a fraction actually has no impact on the on the on the numbers on top and bottom, so we can just think of them as being a, a discarded now. Um, now we've got another two here and two here, so we can divide the top and bottom by those twos, and they become one and one again, which has no impact on the fraction. So we're actually just left with at the end two thirds, because one times one times two is two, and one times one times three is three and we're done. This is the simplest fraction. Example 2, 36 over 48. We are given that 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, and 48 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So let's give this a go. 36 over 48. We're going to write each of the top and bottom as their prime numbers multiplied together. 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 and 48 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now, there's a, a factor of 2 on the top and the bottom of the fraction, so we can divide by the 2 and get 1's in its place. There's another factor of 2 on top and bottom, so we can divide by a 2 and get 1's in its place. And then we have a 3 and a 3, and a 2, a 2, and a 3. There is a factor of 3 on top and bottom, so we can divide the top and bottom by 3 now, the common factor, and that will be a 1 and a 1. So actually, we've got 1 times 1 times 1 times 3, which is just 3, and we've got 1 times 1, which is 1 times 2 times 2 times 1, which is actually 4. If you do 1 times 1 is 1, times 2 is 2, times 2 is 4, and 4 times 1 is of four obviously. So three quarters is the simplest fraction for that fraction there. And example three, our last example, and then you do a few, 42 over 60. 42 we're given is two times three times seven, and, and 60 is two times two times three times five. So let's write our fraction, 42 over 60. So that 42 is equal to 2 times 3 times 7 from here again. And 60 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 from here. Now, there is a factor of 2 on top and bottom. So we can divide the top and bottom of the fraction by 2. And we get 1's in its place. And there is also a common factor of 3 in the fraction. 3 here and a 3 here. So we can divide the top and bottom by 3 and get 1 in its place. So our simplified fraction, 1 times 1 times 7 is actually 7. 
And on the bottom, 1 times 2 is 2, times 1 is 2, times 5 is 10. So 7 tenths is our simplest equivalent uh, fraction to that. Okay, here are five questions, and I've given you the prime factor decomposition for them. So use this knowledge here to simplify the following five fractions. Pause the video and have a go. Now lastly, I want you to have a go at doing one uh, without being given the prime factor decomposition of 64 and 80. You have to find these yourself using our previous knowledge. Now our prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. And we've done this in a previous video. The first thing we're going to do is write 64 and 80 as a product of primes using uh, factor trees. So 64, you ask yourself, does 2 go into it, the first prime number? Well, yes, it does, 32 times. That's not prime, so don't circle it. Then you go, does 2 go into this? And the answer is yes, 16 times. And 16 is not prime. And you ask yourself, does 2 go into it? And it does, and you get 8 times. And then you go again, and you say, does 2 go into it? And you get, the answer is yes, 4 times. 4 is not prime, however. Does 2 go into it? Yes, 2 times. Okay? So therefore, we have that 64 is actually... 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so we've written 64 as a product of primes. Let's go for 80 now. Let's use a different colour pen maybe. Let's go for 80. Does 2 go into it? Yes, 40 times. Uh, does 2 go into this? Yes, 20 times. Does 2 go into this? Yes, 20 10 times, does 2 go into this? Yes, 5 times. And 5 is one of our primes, so we circle it. So 80 is actually 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So if we wanted to simplify 64 over 80, we could use the prime decomposition we have here. So 64 over 80 we could actually write as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, all divided by uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Now, you'll notice there's a 2 on top and bottom. We can divide top and bottom by 2 and get 1s. There's a 2 on top and bottom here. We can divide top and bottom by those 2s. There's another 2 on top and bottom here another two on top and bottom here. And they can all be divided and become ones. And actually we're left with uh, two times two on the top, which is four, and we're just left with five on the bottom. So four fifths is the answer. And just to finish, I'd like to have a go at simplifying the following two. And you're gonna have to write 32, 42, and 60 as a product of primes first using factor trees to see if you can simplify them. Thank you for watching.